20 minutes before we had to leave. We started packing for the DR. We almost decided to take only what fit in our pockets, but decided to take one back for the two of us. So we got in the car to leave. My car's got no radio and no air conditioning, but that's no problem. We drove to Vero Beach where we had a great dinner with the boats. We go to sleep and wake up early to go to the airport. Soon we were in the air, headed to the DR. We arrived in the Dominican in just two hours and landed at an airport made of thatched roofs. We were greeted by colorful women and we didn't have to wait for any checked bags. We hopped a taxi which took us to the bus which we took to Santo Domingo, passing villages on the way and seeing lots of stray dogs. Four hours later, we made it to Santo Domingo and got a taxi to look for a hostel. After a lot of looking, we found it. Our room was nice, two beds, a shower, and a view. We met this guy and invited him to dinner. We don't have any more video from the night, so we'll just say he had to be there. The next morning, we left to explore the city. We talked with these girls for a while and then moved on. It was really crowded and we saw some guy get in an accident. We hopped another bus and watched the tuxedo on the way. Goodbye, Santo Domingo. Hello, Punta Cana. We just barely caught the next bus and took it to our hostel. It was cheap and right on the beach, and I mean right on the beach. It was beautiful. We were next door to an expensive, all-inclusive resort, which we quickly snuck into. The guests looked like they were having a fun time. We walked around trying to find the free food and ended up at a sports bar with 24-7 food to order. We had cheeseburgers. We checked out the local wildlife, then hopped the train to play a little chess. By the way, did I mention it was beautiful? Then it was at a five-star restaurant, free of course since we snuck in. The food there was incredible. For dessert, we had chocolate grapes. We caught a lame show at the resort and then went to the casino, made $50 and lost everything. It was late, so we went to bed. We woke up early enough to catch the sunrise over the beach. There were dogs playing on the beach. I got to pet one of them and then saw this guy doing Tai Chi in his underwear. At the sunrise, it was about time to leave, so we checked out the souvenir shop. So we met a man who called himself Howie Mandel, who sold me a wind chime and introduced me to his sister. He bought a painting from the best painter in the DR while I met the two-month-old baby of Howie's boss. Back on the plane, we left for America. We read over our journals and figured out expenses. Keen snuck some sand through customs. We played the guess the body part game and wondered about the plane's warnings about green goo and naked passengers. Overall, it was a great trip.